rotating objects. We're going to use the rotate command to rotate objects. Maybe we want to rotate the furniture in our layout. Well, we want to rotate the north arrow. We're going to go up and access the rotate command. It's found in the modify panel. And we pick on the rotate command, I'll say select the objects. I'm going to do a applied crossing window, select all the objects. I'm going to hit enter. You'll ask for a base point. I'm going to come down here and pick on the midpoint of this line down here. The base point is its pivot point essentially. Now I can just move my cursor around and it says specify the rotation angle. Uh, if I put in a value of 30 for example, I hit enter, it goes 30 degrees. Now remember AutoCAD measures its angles going in a counterclockwise direction. So 30 degrees is going uh, counterclockwise. I'm going to undo that. Let's do that again. I'm going to go up to the rotate command, select all the objects, hit enter. I'll pick a base point by the midpoint down here of this line. And now let's put in a negative value. So I'll type in negative 30 and I'll hit enter. This time it went in a clockwise direction. Remember AutoCAD does its angles in the counterclockwise direction. Positive is counterclockwise, negative is clockwise. All right, I'm going to do that. And of course, I could always just go and select the objects, hit enter, pick a base point such as that same base point, and I could graphically dynamically move it with my uh, moving my mouse and I could just pick any place and dynamically move it if I want to do that as well. So, and I'm going to undo that. So we move or rotate objects using the rotate command and it rotates things around a base point. You should pick a base point that is something that you want to pivot that those objects about.